get this straight because I'm trying to learn where I'm going now. <laughs> Diamond Fork Canyon. And this place, partly, I mean it's huge, it goes all the way around, but this place is called the Red Ledges. And it's just gorgeous. And I have to thank my friend Colton, also a guitar player, because he's the one who sent me here after work. 
He said, you're going to love this place. you got to go up there. It's like this. He showed me pictures. I was like, well, all right, okay. About an hour away. It's an okay day. Let's go. <laughs> so, this song, Simple Things. This song was written after I wanted to commit suicide. Now, we all have our reasons for being so sad and so depressed that we can't go on. And my voice is shaking talking about it because it was a while back, but it was still very important and I still feel it deep down inside. My life now is because I didn't do it. Now, there's no big explanation for that. I mean, y'all think I'm pretty special. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, but I didn't know that then. I didn't know anybody cared about me. Uh, and I hear a lot of sadness in voices of folks who don't know that somebody cares so very much about you. First of all, there, there was a creator of some sort. I'm still trying to learn all that. Uh, and apparently it was important enough that you were here for, you know, some good reason. Apparently it was important that I was here, if nothing else, to come and play for you in these beautiful places and tell you how much I love you. You know, I, I love you. I do. I love everybody because my heart is so full of love I just I just got to spread it and share it and it, it started with a little thing you know it started with an with an opening uh, an allowing of someone to care about me and that took a long time <laughs> I wasn't easy to care for if it's possible before you make a decision that big, that altering of so many things, try to think about a couple of things. First of all, when you go, you're gonna leave a lot of folks behind who are gonna wonder what happened. Why didn't you talk to that person? Why didn't you come to them? They're gonna wonder why you didn't think enough of them to bring a troubled heart their way to talk yourself through some things. And those folks you leave behind, like my half-brother left me behind, they're going to miss you so much. They're going to miss you so much. And yeah, maybe they didn't talk to you a lot while you were here and all that kind of thing, but I think they would. I think if they understood what was going on in your life and what was making you feel this way, I think they would talk to you. In fact, I find people care very, very much, like I do. <laughs> and now, for some reason, they're all around me. They're everywhere. Look at all the sweet and kind things y'all have said. To me, just a girl with a guitar and a truck and, you know, some kind of idea what she wants to do now. It was hard at first when I didn't do that. I still felt like my heart was torn, you know, in a hundred ways, and, and I cried every day, and I cried long, long time. But then I ran out of tears. I just, I didn't have any more what was left. I was a little bit angry, you know, anger came. And I spent some time being angry. Who does that so-and-so think he is treating me like that, doing those things? Who does he think he is? And then I figured out that he wasn't worthy. <laughs> he wasn't worthy even of my anger. But I stayed angry till it was gone. I did. And then when it was gone, I was sad. But I don't know. Sun would come up in the morning and the flowers would be so beautiful and I'd start looking around at other people and children kind of, I love kids. I'd start seeing kids playing, I'd start meeting children, you know. It just seemed like I was being brought out of it. And I think if you give it a chance, you will also be brought out of it because 
I'm just one person in this whole big world. <laughs> and I'm out here being silly, I'm sure. But I love my life. I love my life. And and I love sharing it with y'all. You know. Can't seem to help that now. And it's all because I I didn't. And I took it a minute at a time at first, and then I took it a day at a time at first, and then a week at a time. And pretty soon it was a couple of years and I felt a whole lot better and I made some friends. Um and I met other people who had come close to things like that and how they got through. And I also, also took the time to find somebody whose job it was to talk to people who were trying to come through these difficult things. Once again, I'm telling you, this is not just their job. Some of these people truly, truly care about you and what happens to you. Their work is very difficult. But if you can find somebody like that to talk to, I encourage you. Because then it'll take a whole lot less time than it took me. I mean, it took me a long time. <laughs> We're talking 10 years, easily. But look at me now. <laughs> you know, here I am with y'all, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy to play for you and, and bring this music and such. And I'll be so tickled to come travel and meet you all. I mean, it'll be great. Um, I probably spoke a little too long. I'm going to tell you that I am writing letters. I have slowed down a little bit. I've slowed down a little bit with the music because of my hands, but they're still working. Uh, I thank you so much for the sweet gifts. Still got a book to read to, to the children, I know. Y'all have done so many wonderful things for me. And, and if you can kind of live through some of the places I go and, and what I see here in Utah and wherever I end up, gosh, that would be fun. And we'll just write music all the way. And I encourage you to play with these videos. You know, it's been my experience that these things are tuned perfect to the guitar. And it never used to be that way on the radio. Oh my God, you could never tune to the radio. It was terrible. But that was in my growing up. Now you can tune to it. This is just a regular tuning. This is a capo up one. You know, just regular tuning. I'm going to try some alternative tunings, but I haven't done it yet. So for those of you who, who enjoy playing, please do play along with me. If you want to learn the songs, it's great. I'll try to remember to put words up if you can't understand me. But I got this little tiny fuzzy microphone up here and it's stuck on a stick. <laughs> Held down by three rocks over there. Anyway. I love y'all. And, and don't go. Don't go. One more day. Find that five minutes, just five minutes of something that lifts your spirits. Don't go. I want you to stay. I love you. You contribute to this world and you contribute to somebody nearby you who is watching you and you don't even know it. We teach whether we want to or not. And under every responsibility fulfilled, there lies a treasure. I'm just telling you right now. And I love y'all, and we'll talk again soon.